Well, you don't need us to tell you that inflation price problems persist. The Bureau of Labor Statistics says since last June, prices shot up by just over 9%, and it's the highest consumer price index increase since 1981. The editor-in-chief of Investopedia breaks down what New Jerseyans are paying so much more for right now. When we look inside the state of New Jersey, we're seeing higher prices across the boards. Gasoline in the last month was up 60.7% year over year. New car prices up 16.4%. Cereal bakery products and wheat up 16% year over year. And meats, poultry, fish, and eggs up 10%. That means that Taylor ham is getting more expensive every single month. Or pork roll is getting more expensive, however you want to call it. We're not going to start that yeah, I was debate. Say, let's save that for another, another day. But you did hear Caleb Silver mention car prices as one of the things ravaging your budget the most. Yeah, we all know it. But if you need need a new car, how can you still save? You can. Before Carissa Lawson took the day off this morning, she talked to the owner of a well-known dealership for some insider tits, tips and to customers getting hit with inflation sticker shock. Now is not the time to buy. Everything's about $10,000 over what they should be charging. Ed Shave wouldn't be shopping around for a new car in this price inflated market if he didn't have to. This car is going to probably go to my son. He's moving to California, so I got to find a car for me. <laughs> no choice. If you're wanting a car, we're going to make sure that you're you're able to buy one. That's why Rich Maloof Jr. has no problem sharing some insider knowledge on the best ways for customers to save. The easiest way for a consumer to, to, to save any money um, would be to order a vehicle. When we have them on our lot, we, there are holding, holding charges that we have to pay, and um, it's difficult to give that that really, really good discount. If you don't have time to wait for a car on order and you're willing to choose from the slim pickings on lots these days, be prepared to compromise on what you want and look for a type of vehicle that isn't in high demand, especially since manufacturers are not offering many rebates right now. They know they can't sell us any more cars when the lots are full, so they start putting rebates on the, on the vehicles, the hood of the cars, as we like to say, to move them. When there's not a lot of inventory, they don't have to do that. And that's where an electric car. This is the brand new F-150 uh, Lightning. Could actually rise to the top of your money saving list. The electric vehicles, keep in mind, there are, there are government subsidies, um, there's state subsidies. You can get up to $7,500 in rebates um, on some vehicles. There are pros to getting an electric vehicle. Also, contrary to what many people think, Maloof says electric cars don't cost that much more. You can look at everything to restaurants, hotels, motels, coffee, tea. He uses his electric Ford Mustang Mach-E as an example. They start around 34,000, they can go all the way up to 70. Gas, you can, you can get into a six cylinder for about the high 20s. So it's not that much of a difference. It's really not. There's a lot less maintenance on electric vehicles, a lot less maintenance. You don't, you're not going for oil changes and 15,000 mile services and 30,000 mile services. Finding a dealer you can trust is advice Maloof says he'll give whether inflation is behind the wheel of the economy or not. When they come in, we're not giving them prices to where they're like, what are you crazy? Because we're going to go out of business if that's the case. You have to be fair. You can't just gouge people. In North Brunswick, Carissa Lawson, News 12, New Jersey.